yeah, go Dolphins! Beat those fucking Jets! Hey boys and girls, <laughs> it's the Killer Nacho again, and um, welcome to my YouTube battles. This is a battle against Wooter, who messaged me on MSN Messenger. Um, he leads with Infernape, as I lead with Aerodactyl, and let's get this battle on the way. He fakes out, and that's kind of annoying, because I can't set up my Stealth Rock turn 1, but I do do it turn 2, as he does it as well. It's kind of interesting, a Stealth Rock Infernape. You usually don't see those a whole lot, but it's interesting. So I go with the Earthquake and almost KO the um, Infernape as he Fire Blasts, and that's not going to KO Aerodactyl because of the resistance. So he goes out into Bronzong, and I find that kind of odd, simply because um, if the Infernape tries to switch in again, it will die. So it leads me to believe he has a rapid spinner. We'll still really see what happens. So he goes into Bronzong. I predict the hypnosis on the switch. So um, I taunt so he can't do any of that gay stuff. And I go into Salamence. And knowing he's stuck into attack moves, I'm, it lowers his attack, so he's not going to do too much. And I think he's going to switch out, so I decide to Dragon Dance. And he goes into Vaporeon. And I know he still has um, Bronzong... But I'm going to go in the Outrage anyway, knowing that an Outrage from a Max Attack Salamence is still going to hurt a lot to anything, and I just feel like weakening things in this party right now. So I Outrage, and as you can see, I weaken this Vaporeon quite a bit. I'm surprised I didn't kill it, but you know, that's life sometimes. So he Toxics me, and um, that's kind of annoying. Not so much on a Sweeper, but still kind of annoying. So, he goes into Bronzong like I expect, and as you can see, it did about a little under half damage. So, this this Bronzong, I do get the third Outrage, so this Bronzong is going to be pretty low when Salamence is done with him. So now he got her balls, <clears throat> and um, I take the poison. I've become confused, but I can't switch in again because of the Stealth Rock, so I decided to go for the Outrage again, just to hopefully KO it, but I do hurt myself in my confusion, and Salamence goes down. That's life. It's not a too big of a deal. Now this thing's low enough that I can easily kill it. So I go into Scizor, and I'm going to U-turn for the kill, and I decide to U-turn into Aerodactyl, knowing I can either taunt, I can taunt something if it's something that I need to taunt, or, um... I could just attack it with Stone Edge or Earthquake. And he goes into Scizor, and I think he's going to predict the switch and try to use Sword Stance, and I predict correctly as I taunt, and it blocks the Sword Stance. And now he does Bullet Punch and kill off Aerodactyl. So I go into Heat Ran here, and um, Heat Ran's just going to Fire Blast because I can get damage on anything. I mean, the Vapor and does resist it, but it's low enough so it can pretty much KO. So, Vaporeon goes down. And now he goes back... He, oh, he goes into Doug Trio, Hoping my Heatran is Specs or something. But my Heatran is Scarfed, and his isn't Scarfed. So, Doug Trio does go down. And that's bad for him. He goes into Infernape just to let it die. And um, now he goes into Salamence, which probably should have been an initial switch, because Fire Blast isn't going to do a whole lot to Salamence. So I go into Sizor now, as he gets to Dragon Dance it like I expect. And, like I said, my Sizor is bu er, uh, Choice Banded, so I decide to go for the Bullet Punch, and it almost KOs, but it does KO enough, so his um, Life Orb will finish him off. And that's pretty cool. So now I just go and Heat Ran for the win. So, today's question of the day is, what is your favorite sports team of any sports league? Mine is, of course, the Miami Dolphins, and I hope that we do beat the Jets and get into the playoffs this year. But that will be remain to be seen. So, good game, Wooter. Um, leave a comment, uh, rate, subscribe. Good game.